Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Cass. So happy to have you here with me today. Uh, today I'm gonna do some drawing. Um, not the most exciting thing for me, and I do have a confession to make. I do not like drawing very much, and I also don't do it enough. But uh, I see it in my art often. The drawing is always the hardest part of everything that I make, and. I've said it a million times, like, your finished piece is only as good as your drawing because if you mess up your drawing in the opening stages, then you're only going to have to redo all of the work that you did or settle for second best, knowing that you've made a mistake that you cannot undo. So today, I'm just going to do some really fresh, fast drawings. What I want to do is, I got these new pens that I have never tried before. I don't use a lot of ink, but I want to get into using it more. I want to get into drawing and sketching more. I tend to only draw as much as I need to to get a piece ready to be able to get paint down. So I'll draw the absolute bare minimum and then I'll start painting immediately and I won't go back to a pencil or a pen. And I really want to practice drawing more. I'm not very good at drawing. My drawing absolutely sucks. There are a lot of times that I'll have to rework a whole piece because I missed something integral in the original drawing or I misconstrued a proportion or a perspective. It is not easy for me and uh, I need to stop hiding from drawing and I need to stop avoiding drawing and make it more a part of my practice. So today I'm gonna do some I was gonna say do some awesome drawings. That doesn't sound right. I'm gonna do some useful drawings with these great new pens. Uh, they're dual tip pens. They've got both a fine liner. The other tip is the one I'm more interested in and it's a brush tip. So it should be really expressive and fun to use and I'm really looking forward to not erasing anything, going quickly, doing gestures, no details. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to these, I've never used them before, Mogyan, not sure if that's how you say it, but they look great and I cannot wait to try them. So time to break out my sketchbook. This is part of this goal for me. I really want to use my sketchbook more, which sounds silly. I'm an artist, I use my sketchbook. But at the same time, I don't use it nearly as much as I should. I use it to plan a piece, I'll make a couple thumbnails, I'll make a couple gesture drawings, uh, make a couple color studies or tone studies, but it is the bare minimum. Like, I don't even want to show you because the material in my drawing book is so sparse, I just don't ever want it to see the light of day. And it's all terrible because I just don't draw enough that when I do draw in my sketchbook, it is nothing to be proud of. So I'm trying to let go of those preconceived notions, I'm trying to let go of my dislike for the unforgiving nature of, of the drawing pen. I like to plan every drawing. I might not plan every drawing down to the my, most minute detail, but I plan it. I know where it's gonna go and I like to start with some pencil lines. So this is real personal growth for me. Intentional personal growth. I know that I need to get better at this. So what I'm doing here today is I've got some great photos that I'm working from. I'm not doing this from life. Other than the first little sketch that I'm doing of this big dog, uh, all of the other ones are motion shots, and you're going to be able to tell I am not doing this from life. Uh, I'm doing these from photos. I belong to this amazing uh, Facebook group for reference photos, and there is a fantastic photographer that's a part of that group that shared a group of photos that she took of her dogs in the desert playing fetch. And it's just, they're just so amazing and so beautiful, and there are so many different angles. She's got like 75 different photos of three dogs playing fetch in the desert, and it's super cool because they're short-haired dogs, so you can really see um, their body structure in these weird positions, and I thought that would be so much fun. So I figured I would use these dogs and draw a bunch of dog butts and happy dogs jumping around in the air and use that as my gesture drawing practice. I want to use the brush tip of this pen. I want to avoid, at all costs, even uncapping the fine tip end of this pen. That's not what this exercise is for, and I need to just do my best to forget it. My goal here is super simple little sketches, like a dog a minute. 
I'm obviously accelerating the video here. You can see that I'm not really drawing that fast. But I really don't want to spend more than like a minute on each small sketch. A small sketch that's like a four inch square or something like that. One minute, boom, move on. And I really only want to do lines and uh, some cross hatching for the extreme shadows because the light in these photos is really neat. It's a very extreme, bright, direct sunlight from the side. So I get a lot of cool shadows and I want to work on that thinking about the shapes, thinking about the the forms and the proportions and just including super simple scribble shading and cross hatching to fill in the shadows. That's all. You can see I'm not even being really careful about the placement of these characters we'll say on this paper they're overlapping it's totally fine i don't care there's no composition here there's no plan i do not think this dog is going to go here and that dog is going to go there not at all i'm just putting a dog in a hole wherever there's a place on this paper that there is not already a dog i'm going to put one there and that's that's as intense as we're going to get about it this little sketching session is really just for practicing, listening to some groovy tunes, getting lines down, making mistakes, not erasing them, getting used to that, being comfortable with that, because it scares me. I'm afraid. I have fear of my mistakes. I have fear of not being able to make them go away. You know, the two media that I enjoy using the most are acrylic paint and alcohol ink. And I realize with acrylic paint, you can always cover up a mistake. And with alcohol ink, you can always erase a mistake. And I love that about these two media. Love it, love it, love it. However, it means that I'm almost dependent on that, that ability to erase or to cover. There's something scary about pens because <laughs> every mark that you make on that paper will stay there until the end of time. I know that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know what I mean. As soon as you put that mark down, there's no going back. You can't unmark it, and you can't cover it up, which I think is also very beautiful. And even though I don't do it enough, I'm, I want to work on doing it more because it's so valuable to just draw and draw and draw and make mistakes and keep going. There are definitely times that I, in this little drawing session here where I started drawing a figure and it was wrong, I got the legs wrong, or I got the shape wrong, or whatever, and I just, I never restarted that dog. It was like, ah, oh, this one's too far gone, I have to start again and make a better one. I just keep going. It's not perfect, it's fine. If there's a line in the wrong place, just put the line in the right place and keep it on. I know this is such an important kind of exercise for myself as an artist, Every artist is different and everybody has their own process and sometimes I feel like um, the long time that I've spent as an artist is both a boon and a detriment because we tend to fall into ruts and I've been drawing and painting since I was a small child and didn't know my ass from my elbow. But I notice patterns that I fall into when it comes to my artwork. I've always wanted to speed through the stages. I hate the basics. Well, no, I don't hate them. But what I mean is, once I'm learning a new skill, once I feel like I've not mastered, but at least captured the essence of the first steps, I want to go on to step three and four and five. I don't want to practice the basics all day and all week and all month and all year and all my life. I've always been impatient. And it shows in my work. I'm not too proud to say. So I'm really working on that as an artist right now. Trying to go back to the basics and practice my gesture drawing, practice my proportions, practice my anatomy drawing. I don't do it enough because it's kind of boring if it's not putting a big epic image onto a big juicy canvas. I'm like kind of not into it. Which is unfortunate because it's this legwork that makes that big canvas so amazing. I don't want to waste every big canvas I paint on just because I didn't lay the groundwork. I know part of my problem here is that, uh, and I, I partly bl blame social media for this, but not entirely. It's also partly my fault, but um, 
I get so stuck in the mindset that everything I make has to be good, and every piece of art that I make has to be beautiful, and every drawing has to be an amazing piece of art. I feel like everything I create has to be on display, everything I draw or paint needs to be shown in a beautiful way on social media and like, oh look at me, I'm such an awesome artist. But then I tend to feel this pressure that I can't just do loose sketches, I can't make bad drawings. And I want to make bad drawings, well I don't want to, but I need to in order to get better at my craft. So I really hope you enjoyed this today. I hope it inspired you to make some bad drawings of your own. I hope it inspired you to draw dogs or lionfish or coffee cups or whatever you are looking at that you can make a study of and become a better artist as a, as a result. Let me know if you'd like to see more loose sketching drawing videos like this. I do intend to make it a part of my practice, so it wouldn't bother me at all to just make some little videos talking about it. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.